how do we manage the ash trees in our forest in light of the emerald ash borer? The emerald ash borer is this non-native insect that was introduced to North America like in the very early 2000s. There are a couple of studies that point to differing mortality rates, but the consensus is that almost all the ash trees, wherever you are, are gonna die. I'm here in this area of Bear Island that I'm managing this winter, and this is an area that was a pasture in the 1960s, and one of the species of trees that came into that abandoned pasture was white ash, which are now mostly pretty large. I haven't seen emerald ash borer here yet, but I actually just discovered it on the property of one of my clients, which is right over the hill. I, like a lot of forest stewards, invest thousands of dollars a year doing restoration work on my land. I donated a conservation easement. I have to pay my property taxes and incur other expenses to keep this piece of land healthy and beautiful, and I don't make much money. And so what I'm also doing is preemptively harvesting some of these ash trees before they die. We call this capturing their value and turning them into saw logs and sending them to the sawmill. But I'm not doing that with all the ash trees. I'm also leaving a lot of ash trees behind. And the thought with leaving some ash trees behind is number one, there's a chance that those trees could be resistant to emerald ash borer and that those genetics could be passed to future generations. And number two, we actually really want to regenerate new generations of ash. They're going to create all these little seedlings and the seedlings are going to grow up. And there's a better chance that some of those seedlings could have adaptations that make them resistant to the emerald ash borer. The other possibility is that in the future we could develop a biocontrol to control the emerald ash borer and that those tree seedlings which are currently too small for the emerald ash borer to infest could be the future of ash on our landscape. So for me here at Bear Island, like for a lot of landowners, the way that we manage ash is really nuanced and it depends on a lot of not just ecological factors but social and economic and cultural factors as well.